Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at SPY, daily weekly time frame, big gap up open today, likely on the backs of the news over the weekend that the Clinton email blah 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 you know whatever but it is a bullish reaction and the market wants clinton to win it's pretty clear that that is what is occurring once we had the bearish reaction to the emails we then saw a bearish week following it but here we are one candlestick taking out five candlesticks all the bearish action of last week erased in one fell swoop so we have a close up near the high of the day we regain the 10 day in the middle bollinger band in order to change the downtrend on the daily time frame, we're going to have to get over 215.32, so still a lot of work to do. But the close up near the high of the day and the strength at the end of the day hitting a new high certainly looks like we will carry over for bullish momentum into tomorrow. The 100 day moving average resistance will be in the 213.80s. We'll be watching that level. And then we'll be looking at the 50 day moving average in the low 214s. Bulls would love to see another strong day and a close over or a close with higher volume over 90 million. Although factoring after hours now, we've got volume at over 101 million here on SPY. So it was a fairly significant volume day, especially compared to last week, pretty in line with last week. RSI is quickly going from oversold to 50 in one day. Here's the S&P 500, that 10 week moving average resistance I've been pointing out time and time again. We rejected five of six weeks and then dumped. Here we are back to test that level, 21.37, where we close relative to the 10 week moving average on SPX is going to be significant looking at where we head into the end of this year. So we've got the voting tomorrow, likely won't get much data or information until after the close. So we shouldn't see too much factor overall in the market. And then of course we have Wednesday, which is anybody's guess as to what will occur, but we do know the basics where if Clinton wins, the Bulls will likely respond. Not going to see a big breakout, in my opinion. I think some of the, this is factoring in a Clinton victory today. And if Trump were to win, I think we see a big pullback in the market, as the market would be surprised. Like I said, right now it is pricing in a Clinton victory. So looking at the five-minute chart, SPY turned the 20-period moving average pre-market into support. We held it for two hours until the open, tested it right out of the gate. Twice out of the first three candlesticks, we held that support. And then we held exponential support for the next three hours for the bulls to the upside. We lost the 20 period moving average and traded sideways. Did see a little 15 minute pullback on increasing bear volume. And we built a new base of support looking at 212.41, 212.43, 212.39, So this is now a support level to be watching tomorrow. If we open the day above this level, we'll be looking to see if this can hold. If it cannot, that will be a key loss of support. So 212.39, now an important level to watch, the hourly time frame for SPY. Back testing and holding the 200 period moving average. Look at how very quickly this trend changed. Gap up and run. Back test, hold, all moving average support, break out to higher highs. Bulls are in full control of the short term and closing strong into tomorrow. Oil is also looking strong with a strong close. That can certainly help the bulls continue the momentum to the upside. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. I appreciate you watching. See you after the close.